Hey guys, uh, a couple of people have asked me uh, how I save my uh, YouTube backgrounds. Uh, we're still looking good with quality, even though uh, the originals are like over 2 meg. Uh, you have to you have to be under you have to be one meg or under to save a background for YouTube so I, I use a couple of tricks to get away from the quality loss when you upload it to YouTube because uh, hang on. when you upload your image to YouTube my background it was 700 and something kilobytes after I uh, used compression settings on it but I'm gonna view my background image from YouTube and I'm gonna go to view info look at that it it lowers the quality a real lot my original image what I uploaded was 700 and something kilobytes but YouTube has lowered the quality to 300.4 kilobytes so it just shows you how much quality uh, YouTube loses on your images when you upload them so the tricks I use is adding a lot of noise and texture to to parts of my, my graphics because if you've got if you've got like a a solid gradient Just go with that. Solid gradients, like I'll use a, a friend's YouTube channel as an example. Here we go. MDC's channel. And if if you notice his gradient down here with quality loss it, you can see it really bad so tricks that I use to get away from that we're doing this it's fading into darkness so above it I, I use my speckle brush that I made you can find it on my Deviant that anyway free download and I, I will I'll, I'll add noise like this Just to get away from the smoothness of the smooth gradients even if it's just a little bit it, it'll help after you've up saved your image and stuff right, so how I save my image for YouTube I've got to save as my computer's slowing down really lot for some reason uh, JPEG save it as a JPEG click save and then you get the settings up to to do your compression Uh, 
right when i'm saving for youtube these are my normal settings when i'm saving high quality images and this image would be 2.1 meg uh, that would be way over youtube's recommended uh, 1 meg and under so i've got a baseline optimized and I lower it to about 10 it should be 700 and summit now yeah so that would save it as 700 and summit save that and now I've got it here see like up here you can see the lines with uh, the quality quality loss and it would look even worse when you upload it to YouTube because they had even more quality loss to your image if you've gone over like one meg and you've had to decompression it so it would look even worse when I uploaded that to YouTube you'd, you'd see that you'd see lines in gradient so that bit of noise I added at the bottom it hides it so that's tricks I use and I, I use dark dark colours com coming out like noise coming out of the darkness if you understand what I mean so that's it that's what I do I hope it's it helps some of you out like I got a couple of people asking me how I do it so there you go cheers see ya